Cecilia, <coughs> the dryer is broken again. I lost like eight quarters. Hello? Are you just going to ignore me? Looks like it. Uh, Cecilia! <coughs> oh, damn. Cecilia is not a nice person. Bad news. We're going to die frozen in our beds because this stupid window won't close. Oh, great. Cold air? Wet underwear? How much does the machine eat? Two bucks. There goes Cecilia's Christmas bonus. Now, can I just recap? I have $27.10 to last me until I get paid on Friday. I am now working two jobs, and I still can't afford to throw away quarters because Cecilia won't keep the dryer working. Want even worse news? No. I need the coat. You can't need the coat. I've got a cattle call on 53rd on the shady side of the street. And besides, it's my coat. So you're gonna have to layer. Sorry, you can have like three of my sweaters. But it's sacks. I mean, I have to look professional. Your Christmas help. They don't care if you show up in a trash bag as long as you smile and act perky. Hey. Ten ropes. No, 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 no. Terry cloth, Sarah. These are chenille. The client wants their logo embroidered on the left hand. Pocket. Yeah, I know, but these are the same price, and you can embroider it discreetly on the sleeve, because, really, nobody wants... Sarah, I'm the personal shopper with 15 years' experience. You're the assistant with 15 minutes. Assistant derives from the word assist, as in to help, as in to do what you're told. See how that works? Pauline? Hi. Oh, I need your ear. Uh, it's about these airplane clocks you sent over. Well, yes. Retro is in. A magazine like Jody will look very hip giving them out. In theory. Uh, but these gifts are for our internet division. You know, guys with international clocks on their laptops. We really have to come up with something, I don't know, better? Well, how about a, a Palm Pilot? You know, one of those electronic ismos to help organize your life. And Assist then... Sarah, remember? But that's perfect. I also have to get 25 gifts for our freelance writers. Thoughts? Computer typewriter paperweights? Ooh, that's hard to say. That's interesting. You know, Pauline, you've obviously got a lot on your plate, and it looks like you've trained Sarah here really well, so you mind if I borrow her to take care of our account? Me? I've got a $20,000 budget and three days to spend it. Want to go shopping? <laughs> Get this little place with these messages just to throw for me. Now I know the world is seeing that. Lie, 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 lie. Falling, yes, I'm falling. She keeps calling me back in. Falling, yes, I'm falling. She keeps calling me back in. This is cool. Running together really gives you a chance to talk, get to know each other, like you said we should do. You want to pitch in here? I kind of like watching you work for it. Nice. What's that squishing sound? Damn socks. The dryer in my building is a long story. Anyway, let's do favorites. I say favorite movie, and you have to answer. That's a little... Easy. D2. Okay, that's revealing. Here you go. Okay, uh, favorite song. Pass. Wait, I thought you had to answer. Yeah, but you'll laugh and I'll have to kill you. Hey, rules are rules. And besides, I'm going to bug you till you tell me. All right. When I was, like, nine, my parents had this... Uh, Donny Osmond album. <laughs> the one with Go Away, Little Girl. Anyway, I would uh, crank the song so I could hear it out on the porch, and I would go out there and dance with this poster I had of Scott Bayo. <laughs> I can't believe I just told you that. Are you kidding? I love that you told me that. And just so you know, I will use that against you. <laughs> Not fair. Give me something on you. Make it juicy. GB. When I said juicy, we're taking it slow, remember? How about we take it medium? How about we run? Let me guess. California? San Francisco, actually. Why? <laughs> I knew it. I didn't hear a Fargo thing, so the Midwest was out, and you're not the Southern Belle type, so had to be West Coast. Where are you from? Chicago? Oh, no. I know. Maine. You have sort of a <laughs> Northeastern thing. Boone, Iowa. 
<laughs> no life. Came to New York three years ago with $477 and a student loan hanging over my head. Gosh, now you're the assistant editor at Jody. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. I lived with three roommates in a one-bedroom, fifth-floor walk-up. And I took this job as a sprayer, you know, perfume. And one day, Jody, the Jody, came in and asked for an opinion. I gave her one, and she offered me an internship. See, anything could happen in this city. <sighs> wow. <laughs> Might be a good gift for the models? Yeah, they're, they're great. They're, ooh, kind of pricey. <laughs> $20,000, remember? Right. <laughs> Let's start spending. Actually, I gotta run. Uh, just pick out, like... 30, and I know it's a pain, but can you have them wrapped and bring them to my office first thing? I'll sneak out. We'll go for coffee. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> great. Man, she's over an hour late. So? She's never seen on time. Hey, maybe at the airport she joined the Hare Krishnas. Wouldn't be the first time. They weren't Hare Krishnas. They were... Never mind. It didn't last. Nothing with Casey lasts. Hey, maybe she's coming home because she wants to tell us in person that she's getting married or she's got some great new job. Or maybe she just wants to be with her family for the holidays, huh? Okay, okay. But it could be something good. We're on some other planet. Hi, sis. Mm. <laughs> Look at you. Listen, I'm sorry I'm late, but LaGuardia was insane. Come here. <laughs> oh! God, you look great. I feel great, and I'm seeing you. Magpie. You're looking good as always. Hey, don't beautiful. I'm about to barf my guts out. Ooh, you got saltines? Yeah, and here. You bringing us the L.A. flu? Why is it so hot in here? Oh, Steve's got two settings. One, cold and clanking, and two... Ooh, you've been eating a lot more than crackers. It's not permanent. What, it's just gonna fall off? May 10th. That's when I'm due. And before you ask, that son of a bitch trade was stepping out on me. So I kicked his bony butt to the curb. <coughs> so I'm radioactive now, right? Your white blood count's up to 34,000. Normal is 10,000 or below. And here, these white patches, that shows areas of harm on both of your lungs. You have pneumonia. I want to admit you to the hospital. No, Doc, you can't admit me. You need to be on a strong dose of IV antibiotics. This fever is nothing to fool around with, especially given your medical history. What do I look like to you, a big dollar sign? Can you give me a, a shot or a prescription or something? You can't fight this with pills. Besides, you've got insurance. Yeah, the deductible is enough to make you sick. Well, there are installment plans. It still takes money. I don't have any. <coughs> Come on, Doc. There's got to be something you can do. You got to help me out here. All right, I can give you a shot of rosefin, but that's only going to last you for about 12 hours at best. I've got some samples here I can give you. Help you get through the next couple of days. But if you've got this fever tomorrow, if you start coughing up blood, if you feel any shortness of breath, you must get to a hospital immediately. A little lazy with the conditioner. I'll get you all taken care of. JB, you're up. I thought you were off on Tuesdays. Not anymore. I kind of needed the extra hours. Anyway, I can get Nelson to finish. No, no, that's silly. I don't want to have to switch salons because you and I aren't together anymore. So, um, I'm okay if you are. Sure. I kind of hoped you'd be out of this by now. Well, nothing's panned out. I'll manage. Well, Gene uh, still has an opening. It is limo service. I wanted to call you, but I didn't know if I should. Anyway, I would be happy to call. No, of a meeting. John, you don't have to do that. Consider it a friendship offering. If you don't mind. No. Let's get you washed.
Wow. I don't know what you're thinking. I'm not upset about this. So why should you be? Because I know you, Casey, and I know that a baby is going to require a little more attention than you gave to Bruno. That dog hated me. That's because you never fed him. I had to. You do that with the kid, you'll end up in jail. Okay, one, I think I've grown up a little since I was 12. And two, bite me. Yeah, you're ready to be a role model. Come on. Let's not do this, okay? It's Christmas. I'm home. Hey, you know what? Let's, let's go out to the island. Yeah, we could sing. We could have some of Dad's famous nog. Uh-uh. I know what you're doing. I'm not doing anything except trying to enjoy the holidays with my family. Girl, you know we are nowhere near a nice holiday as soon as Mom and Dad see you're pregnant, but... Mom and Dad are going to cry and moan. But as soon as they realize that this, this is going to be their first grandkid... Yeah, they're going to burst with pride. They'll get over it. Besides, I need you to help me convince them to loan me some cash. Whoa. Uh-uh. You're on your own, baby girl. I'm not walking into this one. Then somebody else might want to give me a nice tip. Oops, great. <laughs> Cecilia, keep the change. Hey, um, did you talk to Romy about the window? Because it's jammed open. So? <coughs> so, you should fix it. Yeah, and if you can afford to buy all that crap and let cabbies keep the change, you should pay your freaking rent on time. Hey, we did pay our freaking rent on time anyway. Look, let's get something crystal here, all right? I don't care about your window or any of your stupid problems. So don't knock on my door. Don't even look at me. Because as far as I care, you can all go to hell. <coughs> hey, Cecilia! Ready? Go ahead. Oh, my God. You did all this? Am I too fast? Judges rule romance bottle of wine, totally acceptable. Sex, that's the line we don't cross. I know. I just felt like celebrating. And I finally got a meeting with this guy who's looking for someone to manage his limo, so... I mean, it's nothing certain, but... It's a possibility. Crack open the vino. But first... do something nice because I know I've been a pain to deal with. Anyway, I almost got bailed, but um, would you like to dance? GB, this is perfect. I am still a little chilly. for crafting it. <laughs> ah, hell, it's a memory. I love that whole layered thing you've got going. Whenever I try and pull that off, it just looks like I'm trying too hard. <laughs> you sure you don't want one? Oh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm watching my carbs. You? Give me a break. <laughs> oh, before I forget, I've got two VIP passes to the Vivace party tonight. 
I think you should come with me. Because there are people there you need to meet. It's a great place to make connections. Wow. Um, <laughs> I'll have to find somebody to cover my ship to the bar, but God, that sounds fantastic. It will be. And I have a lunch tomorrow with some industry friends that I want to introduce you to. Oh my God, a sail. Wow. That's a great coat. Yeah, and check out those shoes. Yeah, those are really $199.99. Amazing. They're usually $300. And they would look so cute on you. Me? You think? Come on, let's both get a pair. We can show them off at the party tonight. Well, uh, do they take plastic? Sure. Everybody takes plastic. I'm just surprised, that's all. Both of my girls at home together. Yep, here we are. Yeah, we see Joss every now and again, but... Look at you, Casey. You look good. You do. That boyfriend of yours taking care of you? I'm taking care of myself, Mom. You working? Well, I have been, yeah. Hey, honey, you sure you don't want to take off that coat? Actually, um, I'm still a little cold, Dad, so I'm going to keep it on a while. Are you sick? No, no, I'm just, you know, I'm, um... Will you just take off the damn coat? wings in my apartment because the stupid window won't close. So I'm sorry if this is a good time, but the fact is, that really doesn't matter. God, what is wrong with you? Uh, are you, are you okay? No. I need to go to an emergency room. Wrong. I mean, all these people. Listen, I'll sign off on your Good Samaritan brownie badge. So really, thanks for getting me here and don't let the door hit you in the ass. Hey, let's both leave. Okay, the city hospital thing turned out to be a bad idea. I mean, it's, it's way overcrowded in here. I have some place that I need to be that's really important, so why don't we just go to a better hospital? I can't. Okay? The whole reason I'm here is because it's city. What, you don't have insurance? Yeah, I do, it just sucks, all right? My deductible is stupid large, so I have to stay. But no one's stopping you from going to your lame, stupid, party, dressy thing. So just go. I'll stay with you until they take you in, and maybe still make it on time. <coughs> Of course it's her bra, now I gotta get mocked by pigeons.
Before you go, I want you to help your father set Casey's old bed up in my office. He'll try to do it himself and end up in traction. Okay. Why not just leave it in my old room? By the time we clear out all that junk, the baby will be in high school. I can have sessions in the living room for now. I'm sorry. Are you in therapist mode? I just thought that you'd be yelling and screaming. I mean, she is pregnant and alone, for God's sake. I know that. Well, then, aren't you angry or something? She is pregnant, and she's my daughter. What else am I supposed to do but take care of her? Well, I'm just surprised you're handling this so well. After a while, you get used to it. Obviously, I'm disappointed in my girls. I've learned to accept that. I'm sorry, girls? Plural? How is this about me? Jocelyn, you can't possibly think your father and I are happy about what either of you girls have done with your lives. How could we be? Do they expect us to sit here forever? You could leave. Yeah, and you could be nicer. Okay, I have been sitting here with you for hours. <coughs> Oh, my God. <coughs> okay, that's blood. That is that is so not... Excuse me? Uh, excuse me. Hi. My friend needs to see a doctor right now. Everyone's been triaged. This guy just got knifed in a fight. We'll get to your friend when we can. When? After she's dead? I mean, we have been patiently waiting for hours watching you take in person after person. Meanwhile, she is coughing up blood. That is a serious matter, and you have to do something about it. She's right here. Cecilia? Cecilia? All right, I need a chair, Stack. Right away. Cecilia. Go, go. I just couldn't believe that he said that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. I'll get at the cab. Okay. Oh, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I feel like an idiot. Hey, JB. Hey, Roman. Tashi! Hi, I'm Romy. Oh, right. Hi. Romy, Joan, Joan, Romy. Nice to meet you. Yo, Taxi! Nice to meet you, too, Joan. Are you two neighbors? Yep, we're very neighborly. Taxi! Where are you guys off to? Drink. Business and... meeting. Blood draw. You two sisters? Uh, not even a little. Actually, she's my super. Ah. Well, Meredith here is one lucky super. If she hadn't come in when she did, <laughs> there's no telling. Meredith? Her name is not Meredith. Meredith Berlin. Pneumonia. No, I mean, you you must have the wrong chart or something. This is Cecilia Wisnarski. God, what if you were taking out her liver? It's no biggie. I'll get a form. You fill out the correct information and we'll get this whole thing straightened out. Romy! Romy! I need to talk to you. Yeah, I think you do. Listen, I know you got to be wondering what that was all about last night. Well... I think I've ruled out the possibility that she's your mother. Listen, the only reason that I was meeting Joan is because she's the one that was hooking me up with that limo guy I told you about. So it's not like it was a date or anything. Why don't you try telling the whole truth for a change? Okay. Yeah. Look, Joan and I, we used to go out. We used to. Okay, she's, she's a client at the salon and she was on vacation when I met you. And suddenly I had all these feelings for you, only... I didn't want us to, you know, 
and until I could take care of things with her. And that just took a lot longer than I thought. And now she just she just wants to be friends. And, and I know that I didn't handle it so good, but you gotta know that I, I was trying to do the right thing. So, what, now you guys are just friends? Yeah, we're just friends. And it's over between you two? Completely. I promise. After all that pasta, we probably should have split the dessert. This is so good. How's yours? The flourless chocolate tort is to die. Mmm. Mmm. Sir, are you sure you don't want something else? Not really. I don't know how anyone could function on that tiny salad. Oh. Well, it's a diet thing. What's going on with you? My super, she kind of collapsed. So I had to take her to Bellevue. She's got pneumonia pretty bad. I'm sorry, I didn't. Bellevue? Why would she go there? I mean, Midtown's a much better hospital. Oh, well, it's closer. It's fine. But pneumonia's pretty serious. She should see a specialist. But I, I think she's okay now. Thanks. There you are. Audrey, you got dinner last Thursday. I know, but I invited everyone. Don't start, you two. Let's just split it four ways, okay? With tip that's 34 each. Jocelyn, your sister asked me to pick up a medicine. She left it here? Uh, yeah, it's in the bedroom. <laughs> what? I'm just surprised this building hasn't been condemned, that's all. Mom, please don't bait me. Just making an observation. I happen to like it here, and I'm happy. You know, your father and I... Our first apartment was smaller than this. He was in law school working all night. And I was waiting tables, taking classes. Yeah, I know. You busted your butts. I wait tables and it's some kind of a crime. Jocelyn, we lived like this because we were working towards something. You lived like this just to live like this. I don't get it. Casey could set fire to the house and you would toast marshmallows. I pay my rent on time and never ask you for anything. Jocelyn, your sister is who she is, okay? But you, you had so much potential. Only you'd rather be working in that bar? That's not fair. What do you think people see when they come in there? A woman who is taking care of herself. No, baby. They see another black waitress. They don't know that you were good in science or that you took pre-med classes to become a doctor. All they know is you going to fetch them another drink. How dare you be a stereotype? Where's your sister's medicine? Hey, you're awake. I checked with the nurse. She said your fever's gone down. That's good, huh? What, are, is this engrossing you, or you just don't want to talk to me? I can't believe you gave them my name. <coughs> Duh. Of course I gave them your name. They thought you were somebody else, Cecilia. That's because I told them I was somebody else. What? Why would you... Because I have a $5,000 insurance deductible. That's why. Because the second they know my real name, I'm on the hook for all of it, and I can't afford any of it. Now I have to spend a year, if I'm lucky, working my ass off to get out of debt. I have to drop out of school, get a full-time job, probably two. I have to put my entire life on hold indefinitely because you had to open your mouth. Hey, wait a second. What did you expect me to do? Some nurse walks in here with medication for Meredith, someone. How was I supposed to know that you had your little scheme worked out? I mean, you could have at least told me. Frankly, I wasn't interested in listening to you argue the morality of it and then rush off to an expense account lunch. Hey, that is not fair. Oh, you're going to tell me what's fair? I'm broke because of you, and you waltz in here loaded down with shopping bags. These aren't mine. They're for my job, and you know what? You are out of line. You want to make me the villain? You want to make me the rich little girl that doesn't know what it's like to live on the edge? Well, forget it. Find yourself another example of rich insensitivity, because it is not me. 
You know the one thing that makes this different, Cecilia? It isn't money. It's manners. Well, that takes care of everyone on the list. Except you. I bought you something. You did? <laughs> Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or Happy Religious Observance of your choice. For a job well done. Open it. Wow. Oh, you got the coat. <laughs> Try it on. Highland cashmere. Imported from Highland or someplace. God, Audrey. I can't take this. No, this is like this is like twelve hundred dollars. Hey, you're looking the gift horse in the mouth. Besides, Jody's paying for it. She said my building should be condemned. First thing out of her mouth. Well, she does have a point there. Sorry. She couldn't say something nice. No, just straight up disapproval. And that tone. I hate that tone. Mm, everybody hates that tone. She's still mad at me for not doing the whole free med thing. She's never going to let that go. I didn't know you did that. You were going to be a doctor? Only because she wanted me to. I took a couple of courses my freshman year. and I did okay. But one day I looked up and I realized I just wasn't interested. And isn't it better to stop than end up a doctor who doesn't give a damn? Just so my mom would have something to brag about? You did the smart thing. And she's always giving me the speech about how I have this responsibility as a black woman. But it isn't about that. They just want me to make a lot of money because it's the only way they know how to recognize success. Oh, let it go, Joss. She's never going to change her mind, and neither are you. She called me a stereotype. A stereotype. But I'm not. Look, I work hard and I pay my rent, and I'm happy. I really am. I thought that's what parents are supposed to want for their kids. Up. No. Oh. Oh, God, it's you. Oh. I saw you with this nurse. Wakes me up five minutes after I fall asleep. Every time, she's like this vindictive alarm clock. Nope. Just me. Buy some magazines. It's fine. No, I don't know. I didn't expect to see you back here. I didn't feel bad for you without feeling responsible. Well, I gotta say, you get major points for attentiveness. The whole time I've been in there, you've been my only visitor. So, um, the nurse says you're getting out of here tomorrow. I should be released just about in time to drop out of next semester without losing my deposit. Cecilia, come on. It's too soon to figure that stuff out. You know what's weird? I was six months away from getting my degree. Now, what did I do? I let somebody cough on me? Forget to wash my hands? What? That's about the size of it, right? Who knows what's going to happen to me? I may never finish school. I guess that's just the way it works. There's just no margin for error. Why don't, why don't you give me the keys to your apartment? And I'll, uh, I'll go up and straighten the place before you get home. Things easier. No, that's okay. You don't need to do anything for me. Okay. So, chick flick or shoot him up? Don't start it yet. It's okay. We can watch a chick flick. No, just wait. Um, I can't stop thinking about this. About you and Joan. Oh. Still? Yeah. I mean, you guys met at the salon at work. And you just started dating? Yeah, pretty much. Wasn't that kind of weird? I mean, she's got to be, what, 40? Really? 
Do we have to do this? I, I told you, we're just friends now. She's introducing me to some people, helping me get something started. That's, um, that's where I get kind of fuzzy. Did she help you out a lot? Like, like that suit you got, did she buy that for you and the watch you wear? Why are you tripping over this? She bought me that stuff back when we were dating. There were presents. Did she ever give you money? Look, that's... You're making it sound like something that it wasn't. I don't know, JB. It sounds like it sounds. And... Is that why you work there? What? You're a young, sexy guy. And there are all these rich women, like this Joan person, who can buy you expensive things, like suits or VCRs or watches. And I I'm guessing they're not doing it out of the kindness of their hearts. So, obviously, it was for the sex, right? We were having a relationship. I don't know how to deal with this. There's nothing to deal with. I mean, come on, it's not like we didn't care about each other, because we did. But getting stuff was part of it. And that means that you're the kind of person to use sex. It's horrible. I don't know if I can do this. I don't think I can see you anymore. Romy. Romy! A receipt? But, but it was a gift. Well, I'm sorry. But you can definitely tell that this is from your store. I mean, look at the box. And... And it's not like it's even out of season. I mean, there's one that looks exactly like it in the window. Honey, the only way you're going to get a refund is with a receipt. Now, the best I can do is give you a merchandise credit. So why don't you look around and maybe you'll find something else you like. She know you're visiting the enemy? Josh, you're not the enemy. Yeah, but better keep that kid away from me. I'm a bad influence. You might turn out to be a responsible human being. Well, that's sort of the plan. Mm. And he's a she. A girl. I thought you didn't want to know. I had another ultrasound this morning. Couldn't resist this time. I want to introduce you to... Jocelyn Marie. Jocelyn? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. And there's something else. I'd like you to be your godmother. Oh. And do you think Mom will have an opinion or 12 this about that? This isn't Mom's kid. Besides, it wouldn't be so horrible if she turned out like you. Jocelyn Marie, huh? It's a good name. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you want now, but... What I want is to do the talking this time. Okay, I know that you got your opinion on things, but the world isn't as cut and dried as you think it is. J.B. Now, the way you grew up, and the way I grew up, your family, you had everything, right? My dad busted his ass every day, we had nothing. I get that, but now we're the same. Now we both have nothing. But you have nothing by choice. I'm struggling. But it's not really struggling. Because if something really goes bad, all you have to do is pick up the phone. I can't do that. And that's your excuse? I don't need an excuse. I'm just saying that when you come from where I did, from nothing, you learn that there's certain things you can't do. Connections you can't make without a little help. So, yeah. I found somebody I really liked who was willing to give me a hand. But you want to think that's something horrible? Go ahead. if there's any way that I could squeeze some cash from my two jobs to, you know, help Cecilia out. Why would you do that? I don't know. But, I mean, I, I feel like I should do something, you know? I mean, I even tried to take back my brand new coat to give her money. But that's stupid, right? Because I feel bad for her. 
but I don't like her. Nobody should give anyone anything. And the thing is, I could work my whole life, sell everything I own, give Cecilia every single dime, and be left with absolutely nothing. But there would still be a million Cecilias. All of these people out there who need some kind of help, and what is my obligation? It's not your responsibility. So, so what? Am I supposed to feel guilty because, oh, I really love my new coat? You know, or, or because I, I want things? Depends on what you're willing to do to get them. What? Nothing. Just happy freaking holidays. Not bad.